the ActiveX Sustainability Dashboard automates the calculations of your project's embedded carbon, urban greening factor, biomass density scores, and biodiversity net gain in real time as you design. Integrate urban greening into your design process and save time on the production of supportive documentation to meet the London plan policy. This video will show you how to use the sustainability dashboard and the available urban greening factor, also known as the UGF framework, for internal calculations and assess greening against relevant UGF targets set out in local plans at early design stages. To start, open the sustainability dashboard from the main menu and then select the UGF feature from the metrics presented. The calculator contains overview and detail tabs, both of which include standard parameters for urban greening estimates that are automatically calculated based on your design proposal. The Recalculate tab allows you to update the UGF score at any stage of the design process, while the Select Layer tab helps you filter through available data and choose only the design and sheet layers that are essential for UGF score calculations. Scale, reposition, and minimize the sustainability dashboard as necessary. The UGF value of your project is shown in the Overview tab. Use the Export tab to export the total score along with the contributions of different surface cover types to a TXT file, enabling you to produce a standard UGF master plan for planning purposes. The Urban Greening Factor can be calculated for both 2D and 3D design proposals by using the preformatted record formats from the Resource Manager. When using parametric tools, such as a landscape area or hardscape, you can assign the desired surface cover type within the parametric object style or preferences in the sustainability section. Regardless of your chosen workflow, the sustainability dashboard keeps track of the assigned data while providing an in-depth insight into the score breakdown, surface cover types, their factors, areas and contributions. You can also add notes to help communicate your results to other project participants. To estimate the UGF score for your project, first select the project boundary line, go to the object info palette, data tab and then attach the urban greening factor site record. Next. Select all objects that represent the various surface cover types and attach the urban greening factor surface cover record format to them. Then select one object and this time choose the sustainability data button and assign the relevant UGF data. In the sustainability dashboard you will see all objects with the UGF record format. If you have specified a surface cover type it will also be listed along with its score and contribution. Continue specifying relevant UGF data. Review the assignments in the sustainability dashboard as needed and monitor your total UGF score throughout the process. To make UGF calculations more efficient in your BIM models, you can apply data directly to parametric objects such as a landscape areas or hardscapes via edit style, sustainability, UGF framework. This method replaces the record-based workflow by allowing you to embed the required UGF data within the object style and available data fields. As a result, the BIM model contains all the necessary information and serves as the primary source for your project's UGF assessment. Revise the object's data assignment within the sustainability dashboard. If any objects don't have a specified surface cover type, you can select them here, which will also highlight them in the design layer, enabling you to adjust the properties in the object info palette. After assigning a surface cover type, you can speed up the process by using the eyedropper tool and copy these settings to other objects with the same UGF data. For this to work, ensure the record option is enabled in the eyedropper tools attributes 
so that your sustainability data can also be transferred when you use the apply mode. Once you've achieved your desired score, you can export the results to TXT and use them to adhere to local planning criteria. In this getting started how-to, you have seen how to calculate the urban greening factor score and deliver landscape schemes that comply with local plans. Use Vectorx Sustainability Dashboard to track your project's UGF score in real time as you design and save time by ensuring your projects meet sustainability thresholds from the earliest concept stage. More information on the wider range of tools covered in this video can be found in the Vectorworks University or online help or the Vectorworks AI Assistant.